Greetings and salutations folks and welcome once again as always to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me today as I'm about to embark on a lockdown bimble. I haven't made one of these type of videos for a while but I woke up this morning, I could see as the sun was shining and I thought why not get out and stretch the old legs in the countryside for a change instead of sticking to the streets of my own locality. So here I am and I've come today to the rather picturesque village of Parbold which is in West Lancashire and it's just outside my hometown of Wigan. But all importantly, it's within a five mile radius of my home address, so I'm not breaking any guidance or any laws or anything like that. And today we're going to take a look at a little graveyard that's uh, in one of the local churches in Parbold. The church's name is Christ Church and it's nestled about halfway up Parbold Hill towards the top for any of you who know the local area. And the grave we're going to be hoping to locate today is that of a local woman, and she's a local legend. A lady by the name of Amy Holt, who sadly passed away in 2006, aged 80 years old. And her claim to fame is she's the very first woman police officer in the Wigan Borough Police Force, as it was known as then. Today, Wigan is policed by the Greater Manchester Police, but that's not always been the case. And between the years... 1836 and 1969, which is a whole whopping 133 years, Wigan policed itself. It wasn't part of the Lancashire Constabulary, despite being then in Lancashire. And Amy Holt was the first woman police officer to serve in the Wigan Police Force. She served along with five other ladies, so there were six of them in total, and I've no doubt that they had to put up with, back in them days, the casual sexism and in some cases, downright hostility that would have come from some of the male colleagues who was prejudiced and either felt threatened that females were coming through the police force or they just simply believed that women's roles should extend no further than making cups of tea, answering telephones and the filing system. But uh, we're going to take a look at a grave in a while because uh, it's an interesting story really because during all the research that I've been doing for this video, I've never found any reports of anyone who's had a bad word for Amy Holt. They've all been good reports. And it seems she was well liked not only by the people of Wigan on a beat and uh, her fellow officers, male officers included, it seems that she was also respected by the criminals as she nicked, as they had a healthy respect for her because apparently she could hold her own with a male colleague. She wasn't soft or anything like that, although she was a lovely lady if you wasn't doing anything wrong. Anyway, I'm going to make my way across those fields now, through the public footpaths and uh, things like that. I won't be documenting my journey to Christchurch, but simply because, as I say, it's a little bit windy out there and it will ruin the audio and I don't want that. So join me when I get to the church and hopefully we'll be able to find the grave of Amy Holt. So here we are at the Price Church in Purbold. I'll just make my way across this busy main road now, whilst there's a break in the traffic, and enter into the churchyard. And Amy Holt's grave should be round the back of this church somewhere, which hopefully I should be able to find for you without too much trouble. And here it is folks, it's pretty easy to find as it's just round the back of the church for anyone out there who may want to visit Amy's grave for themselves. Amy Isabel Holt, XWPC number one, died 17th of May 2006, aged 80 years old. And she's buried I believe with her two brother-in-laws and I'm assuming one of her sister-in-laws. Now I've no idea when Amy actually entered into the police service, but if my maths is correct, if she was 80 years old when she passed away, then she would have been born in 1926. Back then you had to be at least 21 before you could join the police force, so she wouldn't have joined the police service before 1947 at the earliest. By all accounts, Amy was known locally and affectionately by everyone simply as Big Amy, due to her height. And I'll put a photo of Amy on next for you and you'll be able to see why. As you can see, at just over six foot, Amy struck a very imposing figure. But by all accounts, she was a very friendly lady, and I've read stories online of things like her carrying sweets in her pockets, which she would hand out to people when she met them on her beat. Now, according to the person who originally uploaded this photo, it was taken around 1970 on Park Road in Wigan, where she used to live with her husband, Graham Holt, who presumably took the photograph. If this was taken around 1970, 
then the reason could have been the rebadging of Amy's uniform to the Lancashire Constabulary, as the Wiganborough Police Force was disbanded in 1969, with its Chief Constable and 188 officers briefly joining the Lancashire Constabulary before rebadging shortly after once again with the creation of the newly formed Greater Manchester Police in 1974. Now, I've no idea if Amy Holt served in either the Lancashire Constabulary or the Greater Manchester Police. So if anyone out there knows, please leave your comments below. But she does have the title of being the first female police officer to police Wigan streets. And whilst things will have changed a lot for women since Amy's day, for her, life in the police would have been very different indeed. For example, despite holding a driving licence, women were not allowed to drive a police car and would only be allowed in as a passenger or to act as an observer which by today's standards hardly seems fair. But it's thanks to women like Amy, who first joined the police service, that others have been able to follow. And if you're a female police officer in Wigan today, then it's thanks in some small part to Amy Holt, who helped to open the door for you. Anyway, folks, I'm going to head off now, back to the old jalopy, and we'll wrap this one up. OK, folks, well, here we are, back at the old jalopy, and sadly, at the end of today's little video. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video, I've certainly enjoyed making it and taking a look at and paying tribute to Amy Holt, Wigan's first female police officer. Now if anybody out there has any stories regarding Amy Holt, perhaps you worked with her, you know, maybe you even got nicked by her back in the day, please leave your comments below. But uh, I'm going to get out of here now, I'm going to head off back home and until the next time as always, from myself, Mr H, it is... Bye-bye for now.